At Home Goods, I found this Popcorn Loves. This one is Popcorn Loves Parmesan Garlic, Truffle Salt, Everything Bagel, and Chili Lime. Also at Home Goods, I bought these Popcornopolis. I don't think we reviewed any of them. This is the Snickerdoodle, White Cheddar, Jalapeno Cheddar, and Hot Cocoa and Marshmallow. And then at World Market, this was in the checkout. It's some kind of, it looks like a little apple pie thing. Apple pie. Um, so we'll be trying that. And then Hammond's had three candy bars we had not tried. They had chicken and waffles, um, malted milkshake, and peanut butter cup. And then these Kit Kats, um, I don't think we've ever had these either. These are... Um, Main Manichino mm -hmm. nuts and cranberry. I don't know if that's how you say it, but anyway, they're Kit Kats. And then these are new candy bars in World Market. Um, it's called Sugar Plum Chocolates. And so we have Fruity Flake, Peanut Butter and Jelly, Pancakes and Syrup, Apple Pie, and Milk and Cookies. And then um, this is a mystery... Uh, snack box. So uh, Kevin and I are going to open up the snack box and we're going to review everything in it. But they do sell these at World Market. I think they come out with uh, different boxes at different times of the year. And I think this one was out around um, Easter, but it, everything in it is still still very fresh, very good. I mean, the date on it is 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 still fine. Yeah, this came out. Or it's good until October. So everything in it is still really good. And then in Marshalls, Marshalls we uh, I found these Honey Bar bars. These are uh, protein, gluten-free bars. We have the Trail Mix, salted, almond salted caramel, sweet and salty, quinoa and cranberry, and peanut butter and jelly. At Walmart, we bought some Taylor Farms salads. We're going to be reviewing all of these for the channel. Two of them actually say new. Uh, this is a Buffalo Ranch chopped kit. This is Bacon Caesar chopped kit, and it says new. They had one with guacamole, but Kevin and I really are not guacamole people, so I didn't get it. Um, and then this is an everything chopped kit. So I just thought that sounded good. And then these are uh, Cake Bites. They're frosted coffee cake. Uh, we bought some sweetener and some creamer for our coffee. We probably really didn't need it right this second, but we always go ahead and get it anyway. Uh, I bought some Gain Flings, and we bought two Dasani Waters. At Walgreens, we spent 42 We actually spent $43.02 on what you see here, but I had a uh, Walgreens cash reward of a dollar. Anytime they ask me, do you want to use your cash rewards, I go ahead and use it, so that saved me a dollar. So I spent $42.02, uh, but these are $3.99 a piece, but they are cheaper than what you can get them at Kroger. So Kroger charges like the same price for these, but you only get 20. So, um, why not go to Walgreens, spend $3.99, get 40 sticks. So, these are the Skittles uh, drink uh, mixes that we get. There's four different flavors. We bought five of those. And then we bought, these are new Lent mini pralines. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted pictures on Instagram when I found this display. It said new, and so we'll be trying those. So even though we've probably had the full sizes of these, we'll um, try them out, open the box, show you what they look like, and all that jazz. These are limited edition whole cashews. They're the Tapatio Salsa Picante flavor, and um, I thought those would be fun to try. So along with those, I bought the... Uh, blueberry pie snack mix and the magic mix. I just like the name of it. That's why I bought it uh, But they have all kinds of these mixes and so those are just the ones I chose We went in a gas station that we've never been in before. It's called pump and shop, right? Clark, Clark's pump and shop. Okay, and we'd never been in there before so we have tried these this Uncle Ray's brand But we had never had any of these so we hit the jackpot we bought the these are chips salt and vinegar uh, Chipotle and Jack cheese Buffalo wings cheesy garlic bread Maple bacon and then they had corn uh, caramel corn white cheddar popcorn and butter popcorn 
Then in uh, the fresh market, we bought these original Saratoga chips. So these are honey barbecue, salt and balsamic vinegar, original with Himalayan salt, and these are called Old Glories. And they're made with red, white, and blue potatoes. Uh, we also got this uh, peanut butter stracciatella um, dolcelza, dol, dolcelza, that's gelato. We bought that, and then we bought this uh, mascarpone and berries. So they have other flavors. We had never tried it before. I figured we'd give it a try. At Target, we found the, of course, after we had already reviewed the uh, Alani drinks, the three from Kroger, we found the Trippy Hippie at Target. Uh, but with those, I'm going to be trying these. This is a 3D, uh, these are energy drinks, and it had, I thought it said on there what it was. This one says Berry Blue, this one is Grape, and then this one just says Energy Drink. Okay. The original. This, uh, somebody had asked me to review this. This is a new non-dairy Caramel Sutra Core non-dairy frozen dessert Ben & Jerry's. We found some new favorite days. So if you watched the haul last week, we found a ton of the new Target brand favorite day items. These are the things we hadn't bought last week. Uh, this is another one of the lower calorie. It's a mocha cold brew coffee. And then we found this monster cookie, which looks amazing. And then we bought the double coated vanilla caramel al almond mini ice cream bars, the vanilla caramel milk chocolate almond ice cream bars, coffee milk chocolate butter cookie, and cookies and cream. Then at Walmart, uh, let's do the, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. At Walmart, we bought a gallon of milk. We bought the limited edition Tate's Bake Shop. These are blueberry crisp cookies. And I bought this new Taylor Farms Chai Chili Mango Chopped Kit. At Meyer, we found more of these uh, chopped kits. This, uh, th these are just ones that we have not tried. They've probably been out for a while. We have not tried them. This is the Broccoli Crunch. The Sweet Kale, the Southwest Chopped, and the Maple bar Bourbon. I did look for, uh, a lot of you suggested uh, the pickle. You said the pickle was amazing. I couldn't find it at Walmart or uh, Meyer, so we're just going to be on the lookout for it. Kevin's going to be reviewing these on his Lunchtime Review channel. This is the new Stouffer's Pub Ranch Fried Chicken Meal, the Boston Market Chicken Broccoli and Cheese Casserole, this is a Stouffer's Macfuls Pepperoni Pizza Mac and Cheese Bowl and the Barbecue Recipe Pork Mac and Cheese Bowl. I did post pictures of this stuff on Instagram, so if you follow me, it's Tammy's Clock if you want to see pictures as we find things. Uh, this is the Boston Market Philly Cheesesteak Bowl and the Fried Chicken Bowl with Loaded Mashed Potatoes. These have probably been out for a while, but Kevin's never reviewed them. El Monterey Signature Chicken Quesadillas and Three Cheese Quesadillas. We found the uh, Purple Cow, which is a Meyer brand. This is a uh, very berry Americana, and it is vanilla with a strawberry and blueberry swirl. And then we found the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes with crispy cinnamon basketballs cereal, and the Special K uh, chocolatey dipped flakes with almonds cereal. And then at uh, the uh, Good Foods Co-op, we found the, is that what it's called, Kevin? Mm -hmm. Good Foods Co-op? This is a, um, it's called Coconut Bliss, and it's plant-based, dairy-free. So we bought the dark chocolate, the Madagascan vanilla bean, and the chocolate peanut butter. Kevin will review this on his Lunchtime Review channel. This is the Red's Uncured Canadian Bacon Egg and Three Cheese Burrito. Someone's been asking me to review these forever. These are the Tory and Howard Original Chewy Fruities. I have not seen these in any store except Good Foods Co-op, but this has all the flavors in here. This is supposed to be the assorted flavors, so hopefully we get them all in here. And then we found these Salt Me. These are flavored potato chips, but they have 50% less sodium. Normally, Kevin and I want the sodium, but I figured we'd give them a try just to see because I never had them. We found the Sour Cream and Onion, Cheddar and Sour Cream, Barbecue, and the Original. At Kroger, look what I found. I found the dill pickle. These are all Taylor Farms salad kits. And I found the dill pickle. I'm thrilled to death. So I found dill pickle, 
Salsa Ranch, Strawberry Rosé, Roasted Garlic, Sunflower Crunch, and Steakhouse Wedge, which just sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, we bought some strawberries. We bought the Icebreaker Snow Cone. We're not going to do a review of those. Those are just to eat. Um, Sargenta, we did review, I'll go on and say, we did review the gum, though, and it was really, really good. We're assuming that the mints taste just like the gum. Uh, the cheese was on sale for... Buy one, get one. Buy one, get one. So we've got Colby Pepper Jack. Kevin's going to be reviewing these on his Lunchtime Review channel. El Monterey Breakfast Bowl Veggie Scramble and Sausage and Cheddar Grits. Also, he'll review these, uh, pretzel bun, egg and sausage, which looks really good. I found the Bortman Bakery Summer Berry Wafers, the Belveda Soft Baked Mixed Berry, and these Wheat Thins. These are sun-dried tomato and basil, or basil. Uh, we found two new cereals. This is General Mills Apple Cinnamon Chex, and this is Dulce de Leche Toast Crunch. And then at Walmart, we bought some Lance whole grain sandwich crackers with peanut butter. And then this is a variety pack. You get grilled cheese, peanut butter and honey, and cream cheese and chives. Um, someone wanted us to review the Townhouse Flatbread Italian Herb Crackers. And we bought the new Belveda Lemon Poppy Seed Breakfast Biscuits. Uh, this is a notebook that I need for my scheduling. Uh, we bought some Roundup Weed and Grass Killer, some dish soap, palm olive, I like the clear, it doesn't have smells or anything like that, it's just nice and clean, quilted northern toilet paper, we bought some heavy whipping cream, unsalted butter, some Reese's Big Cups to snack on, and a loaf of bread. At Five Below, we bought these Niagara Chocolates, they're handcrafted, this is the Toasted Coconut Clusters. These are salted almond clusters, and these are peanut butter cups, which I'm looking the most forward to the peanut butter cups. And then at Home Goods, um, I bought two boxes of my Harry and David peanut butter, uh, milk chocolate peanut butter coffee. They had a lot of these. Um, these are the cutest little napkins ever. I don't know that we'll do anything for the 4th of July, but those are cute. So, like, he has the flag, and she's holding, like, a little... Uh, bomb pop those are just really really cute napkins um so and then i found some pillows yeah i know I, I needed pillows like a hole in the head but they're small that's what i'm thinking they're small pillows they were only like eight dollars a piece i think uh yeah 7.99 stars and stripes these were actually in the checkout uh so if you don't go through the checkout you don't get to see the pillows uh, this is one of the ones that I um, love. This is the Heinz of Oxford. This is what the tag looks like. And this is from the men's collection. Um, and it's the men's collection World Traveler. But I love the dog. I love him. And when I saw him, I had to have him. So I did not need another pillow. Uh, but I, I just love the dog.